Hey, hi, Anand. Hi. So, first of all, welcome to UI Gems, and uh, uh, really, I I really want to thank you for uh, accepting uh, that you want to take the mock interview. So, yeah. So there will be uh, three rounds. Uh, so, uh, like, first round will be uh, problem solving, and second round will be some JavaScript questions, and the third round will be uh, some HTML CSS questions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. and uh, so don't think uh, this one like as a proper interview so uh, consider this like a, a mock interview uh, sorry uh, like a technical discussion so that uh, we are going to discuss some of the things so we are going to share our knowledge so if uh, you don't know something um, i'll be sharing something uh, to you or if i don't know something you are going to clarify it. okay so this is what going to happen and uh, yeah be relaxed uh, so yeah can we start Yeah sure. Okay. So first of all I'll be sending you a question. Uh I'll be sending you a lead code uh link and you yeah. just uh have to uh share your screen and you can like uh start solving the problem. Okay? So I have sent you the link and once you open that you can share your screen. So can you share your screen? Uh, I'm not able to see the screen. Uh, okay, right. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm seeing now. Yeah, I'm able to see. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the technical part. So this is like a uh, maintaining the directory structures, right? Yeah, yeah. There's something similar to uh, Unix uh, directory structure, and uh, you have to simplify the path. So uh, okay. there are multiple cases where, like, uh, you have to consider. Uh, so okay. when when we have double dot, which means we are going out of the folder, right? And when we have double slash, which means uh, it is something similar to a single slash. So that is one uh, case. and when you have <clears throat> dot slash which is similar to the current path ah right. correct current path. Yeah. Okay, yeah so these are the points you have to consider before writing the code ah uh, okay yeah. okay 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 so let's go with um, okay so uh, before going uh, to the code can you Um, explain the thought process. What you are getting in your mind? Okay, so uh, if you see here, right? So yeah. I see uh, you just have to remove the slash. Okay, so you are uh, getting the string with slash mm -hmm. and period dot. Yeah. Right. So my approach here is okay. So let's say I want to remove all the slash. So mm -hmm. once you remove the slash, uh, you may get in a uh, split format you are going to do that spring string split mm -hmm. and that will give an array format of uh, all the values what you have in the string yeah so let's say you have a directory and then dot and double dot you will get it mm -hmm. and then from that uh, anyway for single dot uh, you are not going to do any changes right so just yeah. going to up at the current directory okay so what you can do you can ignore uh, adding that dot 
okay and also when you, whenever you see any uh, double dot or any double dot mm-hmm. you just have to remove the uh, the directory from the array basically okay so that it will join with the next directory basically okay so that's what it is happening so my approach i would say here is like we can uh, Yeah, first we need to split that string okay. and make an array, okay. and then filter with uh, 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 the period, single period, and mm-hmm. then whenever you have any uh, spaces, you no, know, that also you need to filter it out. Mm-hmm. And once you filter, you will get the complete structure. Like you will have only the directory name mm-hmm. and double dot will be there in the string array. Okay, okay. So in that string array, you just have to uh, traverse. Mm-hmm. and once you traverse whenever you find the double dot you mm-hmm. just have to uh, take it you have just have to remove your previous directory okay okay so first you need to push current directory whatever you have and mm-hmm. once you find the double dot you just have to remove the uh, the last existing one so okay. you can put like push and pop stack uh, stack yeah. format you can yeah. okay 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 so my approach yeah so this is Let's say I have an array here. Okay. Yeah. So I got the approach. Like you are trying to use uh, stack here, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah go ahead. Yeah. So you have to uh, path array, right? So this is path array. So this this is my string. So mm-hmm. I'm going to string the split off. So now you need to take the split off slash here. So okay. So when you put a slash. Mm-hmm. It will give you all the information with the direct base, period, and uh, single dot and double dot. Everything you will get it here. Yeah. And then uh, in the starting also you have the slash, so you will get an empty uh, value as well in the array. Mm-hmm. So what you can do, you just have to filter that also because you know we are not going to consider those information. Okay. So what you can do, you can put the filter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so when my filter is not true, it can filter, and then I can chain again. Okay, I think uh, you missed out the string. Uh, the dot is yeah. inside a string, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. One, uh, one filter. You just want to ignore that one. Mm-hmm. Another filter is uh, you just want to remove the space as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, now you will get the complete path array which has the directory name and the double dot would be there. Okay, that's it. So now uh, your path array is ready. So now you just have to traverse the path array. Mm-hmm. So let's keep the plan off. In the array, you have four of the third space so mm-hmm. that will give a value here. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, say if L is not uh, equal to double dot, then I could go for which value. Okay. So whenever I don't get that double dot, I'm okay. going to push it. So if okay. I get the double dot. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do the last direct, last direct to what I pushed into that. Okay. Now you have uh, all the directories into your array. Okay. So now you just have to return that output with proper uh, slashes here. Mm-hmm. So now your array is ready. Okay. So I can go with array dot point uh, slash. So this will give. Uh, array and joining with an additional slash in mm-hmm. between okay. uh, all the directories. Okay. But in the starting, also I see in the output, right? So you have an additional slash you need to add, right? Okay. So that we can mess up with return slash plus array dot join. Okay. Uh, hope this will work. Okay. Okay. Yes. Can you run the code? Yeah. Okay. okay. Great. Um, yeah. So, can you uh, try with some other inputs? Like uh, in test case tab, you can modify the input, right? So, yeah. Okay. So now I can. Do so you can copy from example one to or something. Right. 
Ya. Okay. Okay. So yeah. you can do slash. Yeah. Can do slash from here. Okay. Then if I go with another part, right? Okay. So your value would be C. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, I'm okay with this solution, uh, but okay. it can be improved. It can be improved. Uh, so I just have concern with line number seven, uh, where we are doing multiple filters, right? So what uh -huh. filter will do? It has to iterate through the array, right? Multiple times. So you uh -huh. are you are looping through the array twice using that filter. So can okay. you re reduce that? Is it possible to reduce? So you just want to remove the filter and make it that? Uh, anything is fine, but I don't want to loop it again. Like twice I'm looping unwantedly, right? Filter uh, is used twice, which means <clears throat> the array has to go through twice. Correct. Okay, so what I can do is this. So you have a script here, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, once you have a split, so probably uh, 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 it will print out everything here. Okay, so let's keep it up like this. So if the value is equals right, my pop pop up. Okay. The value is not of not is the value. I'm traversing only once. Mm -hmm. I'm checking whether the value is not equal to one dot and not equal to space. Okay. Both are satisfied, then I will push that value. Okay, yeah. yeah can you run so this? The, oh, that one. Let's see. Okay, that's the wrong answer. Uh, Okay, so here I have a dot. So putting everything slash here. Okay, so you have split. Uh, oh, okay, so you must be having uh, dot slash. Mm. Last week, okay. Um, not equal to total, not equal to space. Okay, this one, right? Yeah, empty. Yeah, okay. Can you uh, submit the code? Great. Great. Okay. So yeah, uh, <clears throat> we'll move to the next question, which is something related to JavaScript. Okay. So I'll be sharing okay. you one more link, uh, a JSBin link. You can open yeah. that. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I just want to know uh, what is the output like uh, we have output here right so which line is causing the issue so uh, like which lines are causing the issue like there are uh, 
three statements here uh, okay. where we are trying to modify the value of a const, right? So, which of these three lines uh, will cause issue? Okay, will throw some error. So, it is the x is your concoding here, which is okay, and y is 10. Y minus 10. So, this is one. Okay, so this causes an issue basically. So, this is you are assigning the variable here mm -hmm. in the constant value. Mm -hmm. So, when you try to change that value, it will throw up an error. Okay, so, so uh, what constant. about the previous line uh, where we are modifying x? Yeah, that is fine because uh, this it gives only the references basically. Mm -hmm. When you say constant x equal to array means array is the referencing to this particular uh, array. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you can able to add or delete any values inside that array. The only thing is you can't able to reassign to other part. Yeah. So, let's say if I don't, if I do like this, right? So, yeah. let's say if I do like this, x equal to 5. Okay. Then it will throw up an error because okay. you already assigned that to array x value. Now, if you're reassigning something, it will not work. Yeah. Uh, can you check the next line uh, which you added once more? Uh, which one? Yeah, that line. Yeah, so this is like a concord some method, array method. Actually. Yeah, so but so, uh, on the left hand side you have something, right? Left hand side. Which one are you talking about? Uh, like the same line. Uh, can you can you read from the first character? Yeah, in that line. Yeah, x equal to x equal to x dot concord of one. Yeah. So x is nothing but your array value. Yeah. And then you are adding that concord. Of num some some number. Uh, okay. Inside the array, you are adding something. Yeah. Actually, uh, so uh, this is little tricky. Uh, you answered it properly. Like what happens when we try to modify a const value? Uh, when we are trying to change the value inside the reference, right? So we are not changing the reference, so uh, it won't throw any error. But here we have x equal to x dot concat, which means uh, we are concatenating something to x, which means we are not changing reference. It will append. Right, it, it will happen inside the array, but yeah. x equal to is the is the line uh, is the code which is going to uh, change the reference, right? X equal to x dot concat is the right. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll we'll try it out. Like, can you comment okay. out the line number two, uh, like which is like y equal to y minus ten. So we are reassigning to concord, okay? Array dot concord. So there is an equal symbol, right? For x. Okay, so if I remove this one, I think yeah. it's okay. Yeah, so it won't throw any error. Means we are okay. not consoling, right? Okay. So the x okay. equal so to. Reassigning that concord. Yeah, so that will cause error. Okay. okay, yeah. Got it right. Okay, so we'll move to next question. Okay, so I'll be sharing you one more link. Uh, Okay, so you have uh, so the question is uh, I have some HTML which is having a div and the ID of the div is main right so it is rendered in the output and then we have a JavaScript section uh, which has a function uh, the function name is dollar right uh -huh. so we need to uh, so you have to write the function you have to complete the function so that um, we can use something like jQuery so the main uh, the main concept is uh, I just want to see how you are going to implement this uh, mm -hmm. chaining method chaining. So uh, when dot CSS method called and it it can be chained with again dot CSS right. Mm -hmm. Again it is getting chained with uh, dot width and dot height. So okay. I just want to know how you are going to approach this. Uh, so how you are going to solve this uh, problem? Okay. 
<clears throat> so we have method is dollar here. Okay. Yeah. Um, select. Uh, So that should be in the object basically. Uh, in the object, I have a series. Search is what? So here value drop and value. Okay. This width is going to be a like pixel or percentage. Or um, to... Okay, so uh, I just want it to be pixel for now. Okay. Yeah. When you say hundred. Yeah, say it should be hundred pixel. Pixel, right? Style of vertical to grab pixel. So you're going to okay, pass it as a number, right? So in okay. that case, like uh, a number, you just want to open up that string. So, uh, we have uh, 
Find function. Okay, so that is some issue. Okay. Uh, I have found time. Let's say so common dot query selector. Okay, query selector is what? Uh, dash main. Uh, that will be yeah, which is correct constant. This I have written this and that. Then the IP to value dot two string plus pixel. It is there. It is there. CSS is there. Uh, I got not. Yeah, I think should work. Okay, so let's go with one by one. Really want that style. Uh, this is returning object. This is function. Yeah, this should work. Mm -hmm. Function dot CSS function prop value. Uh, you have an object here. Yes, let's make the case. One. Okay, so I have written an object here. That object have CSS function, function have prop and val, and then inside that element dot style prop equal to val uh, dot style dot background equal to val. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you are getting as an uh, string here. Yeah, yeah. So okay. style dot prop will be considered as uh, exactly prop, right? Prop. Yeah. Okay. So how you can change it dynamically? So style uh, instead of so dot, you can use is, yeah something else okay. to make it dynamic. Okay, so I'll help you out. So, can you re uh, undo those changes? Uh, Like one more time and one more time, yeah, yeah, this is fine, yeah. So, uh, what mistake you are doing is, uh, like, yeah, you are getting as a string here, right? Yes, so that's a problem. Yes, so, so if you want to make, you have to use square bracket, like, uh, instead of dot, you can use square brackets, yeah, that's it. Great, oh, okay, that's an object, but this should also should work, I guess, right? So, you have a style. Mm -hmm. Inside, I'm passing like this, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So, so you have to use square bracket here too, like uh, ES6 syntax, so you right? Have you have to use square bracket to make it oh. dynamic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Okay, great. Um, Okay, um, so here you are making some mistake. So width is not a variable, so you can hard code this as a string. 
you have to keep it inside a quotes double quotes or single quotes right yeah yeah so yeah previously uh, whatever you did that was proper uh, like with, proper, okay. yeah you proper can use dot word. operator to uh, select a particular property so you so know the width and height. String, yeah, so that's why we have used here uh, square brackets. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So can we move to the next question, uh, which is the last question? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have shared you the question. Okay, so uh, the question is, uh, I have given you a uh, simple HTML and CSS thing, right? So what I want to do, uh, what, what I want you to do is uh, move the red color box to the uh, bottom right. Okay. okay so, right now, okay. so right now, um, like there is no position or no flex box or no grid. Okay. So there are different ways you can move this red color box towards the right bottom right uh -huh. so can you uh, do like few ways how you can move this to the bottom right okay uh, okay let me Okay, great. So, any other way? Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will go for the. Um, high position, right? Mm -hmm. Probably we can go for transform translate. Mm -hmm. Work on that. Might has to come down right. So probably let's say um. Yeah. I have to go to X hundred percent. I can go with the translate. Okay, I think uh, you cannot use transform translate uh, because when you give 100%, uh, it will consider its own height and its own width. Uh, correct. So right, so you cannot use transform translate. So you can try uh -huh. some other way like flexbox or grid.
grid. We can use this grid here. Mm -hmm. The main containers you need to add are this the grid, the okay. specifier and the line items. Great. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Um. So how you can make this uh, vertically and horizontally center, like the red box? I want it to be in the That's center always. Can achieve this in many ways. Yeah. So you can go like this. And this, uh, this is a modern CSS3 part, right? Yeah. So if you want to use it like, probably you can go with the uh, relative view. And then uh, width and height, you can go for uh, 50%. Mm -hmm. I mean, left and uh, uh, right, uh, mm -hmm. left and right, yeah, you can go for 50%. And then you can put the margin left, margin top, uh, minus 50%. That's it. Okay, okay. So can you try that out? Can you write out the code? Yes. Then we can go with uh, either transform translate. Okay. Great. Okay. So we can use one minus fifty percent, right? Instead of two. So it will take X and Y both. Ah, uh, sorry. Come again. Yeah, like you are passing two arguments, right? For translate. Uh, minus 50 x minus y. Yeah, so you can pass one which will take up both x and y. Okay. Yeah. No, it won't take. Now if you want to use only one parameter, either you can go with translate x uh -huh. or translate y. Okay. Like okay. Want both, then probably you can give minus both y. Okay, great. Okay, so I think uh, we are done with the interview and it was great talking to you and thanks yeah, for sure. joining yeah okay. thanks yeah